kids! Welcome back to JNCAC Sunday School Online Ministry! It's me, Teacher Eden, ang inyong online tagapagturo. We are still in the series, The Parables of Jesus. Sa pamamagitan ng pag-aaral ng mga parabola ni Jesus, ay mas makikilala natin siya at malalaman natin kung paano tayo makakapamuhay according to His will. Ready na ba kayo? Kung ready na, tayo ay manalangin. Gumawa ng bahay, ilagay sa dibdib, pumikit at manalangin. Panginoong Diyos, maraming salamat po sa araw na ito na kami ay makakapakinig ng inyong salita. Dalangin po namin na kami ay lalong makilala ka sa pamamagitan ng pag-aaral ng iyong mga parabola. Maraming salamat po sa tanging pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Narito si Ate Ava para turuan tayo ng panibagong action song. Hi kids! Kumusta ang lahat? Sana tayo ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. And today, may panibagong action song na ituturo sa bawat isa. So, ang title nito is Obey, Obey the Lord. So, ang una nun is yung ating mga kamay. Roll natin. And then, magkikreate tayo ng letter O sa gilid. Obey, Obey, O. Sa kabila naman, Obey, Obey, O. And then, Obey, obey, o. Oh. Tapos sa taas, turo tayo. Obey the Lord. Paulit-ulit yun, ha? Gawin nga natin. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey the Lord. Tapos, we could choose to listen sa ating mga kanang tenga. We could choose to listen to, and then yung salut. And obey God. Para tayo nagsasalut sa soldier. Yan. And then, we could choose to follow. Jog lang tayo sa ating place. We could choose to follow all His rules. And then, we could choose to do what's right even if it's hard. Galaw lang natin. Even if it's hard. And then, makikay tayo ng spelling ng obey. Paano ba yon? O-B-E-Y. So, O-B-E-N-Y. And then, obey the Lord. Salute. Nakuha ba natin? Tapos, after nun, is paulit-ulit lang natin siyang gagawin. Ulitin nga natin. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey, obey, o. Oh. And then, obey, obey. Obey the Lord. Isa pa. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey, obey, o. Oh. Obey, obey, o. Oh. And then, obey the Lord. Next nun is, we could choose to listen yung ating left ear naman. We could choose to listen... And obey God. Salute ulit. And then jog in one place. We could choose to follow all His rules. We could choose to do what's right. Even if it's hard. Then spelling ng obey. Paano? O-B-E-Y. We will obey. Nakuha ba natin? Sige. Sayawin natin ito ngayon ha. Let's go. Choose to follow all his 
Stories of the Bible The Parable of the Two Sons This is Jesus hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness He did many miracles like walking on water Oh, hang on and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and religious leaders came up to him. <laughs> they challenged his authority and Jesus said, what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, hey son, son go out and work in the vineyard today. <laughs> the son answered, no I won't go. But later, he changed his mind and went anyway. Then the father told the other son, Hey son! You go. And he said, Yes sir, I will. But he didn't go. Then Jesus asked, Which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, The first. Then Jesus explained his meaning in telling this story. Jesus told them that people who sinned would get into the kingdom of God before they did. This is because the Pharisees and religious leaders didn't believe the people who God sent to tell his message. Jesus continued to talk to the Pharisees and religious leaders. They realized he was telling the story against them and they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds because the crowds listened to Jesus and believed that the message he was speaking was from God. Obedience is shown through action, not just words. That's the point of Jesus' parable of the two sons found in Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 32. There are two sons in the story. The son who said no, but eventually went to the vineyard, and the second son who said yes, but did not obey his father. Ang tanong ni Jesus, Sino kaya sa kanilang dalawa ang tunay na sumunod sa kalooban ng Diyos? Jesus answered, the first son. Even he did not answer yes, but his action shows obedience. Jesus is reminding us that making promises is a much different action than actually carrying out our word. When we say yes to God, let's make sure that we can make our best effort to fulfill our promise. He also wants us to know that it is never too late to make the right decision. Like the first son who told his father no, but then had a change of heart, we can still put our faith to God and choose to obey Him. Our actions must match our words. James chapter 1 verse 22 says, Be the doers of the word and not hearers only. Ulitin natin, James chapter 1 verse 22 says, Be the doers of the word and not hearers only. So it also applies to our daily life. Our obedience to God also means our obedience to our parents. Pag inutusan ka ng magulang mo, sundin mo ito because God is honored when we honor our mother and father and we can honor them through obedience always remember that when we honor our parents we are also obeying god tayo ay manalang panginoong jos maraming salamat po sa aming natutunan na kami ay dapat na sumunod sa inyo Kami ay makakasunod sa inyo sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod din namin sa aming mga magulang at patuloy ng paggawa ng mga bagay na nakalulugod sa iyong harapan. Lord, help us to do your will and to walk according to your righteousness. Malamat sa maraming salamat po. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Paalam mga bata, don't forget to like and share this video to your friends and follow our Facebook page to be notified on our posts and videos. Magkita-kita tayo muli sa susunod na linggo, alas 9 ng umaga dito sa GNCIC Sunday School Online Ministry. Paalam! 